okay. All right. Put your hands down. How, yeah, 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 right, right. How many in the last two days have been in a trial of tribulation? Let me see your hand. Oh, I'm in the right group. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me ask this question. How about in one day? How about the last hour you've been in a trial of tribulation? They're everywhere. I don't think I've ever said this in my life, but I'm going to say it tonight. Don't run away from it. Run into it. Amen. Run after it. Go headlong into it. Because you know why? You can't defeat it on your own anyway. Right. You can't defeat it on your own. David knew he couldn't kill Goliath on his own. What do you think? He was all excited about how great of a shot he was with a slingshot? And the guy's 10, 12, 13 feet tall and the spear is the size of a weaver's beam? He got to have two people carry his shield because it's so big and heavy? And you think David thinks in his own mind, oh, I'll just take a little rock and hit him in the head. It'll be all, it'll all be good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. And what is the guy, an idiot? He's an idiot. People, what's David, an idiot? He's running at Goliath. He's mocking his God and he's running at Goliath. How does that happen? He knows his God. Amen. He knew it ain't nothing to me. It not, I mean, I, I'm helpless in this situation. And that's where God wants us. We come to that point of, I'm helpless. Wow, 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 wow. Hmm. I just heard, I just, it was just like, I heard a thousand voices come up out of my spirit. So many people. I, I, it's, I, wow, I've never had that happen before. It's almost like I heard the voices of people saying, I have so many big things, I, I'm helpless. I, 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 there's so many big giants in my life. You've got to come to a place of helplessness. Amen. That's the only way to defeat your, the Goliath in your life. Amen. Don't run from your trial, run into it. Amen. Don't run away from the Jordan, put your foot in the water. But you have to carry the ark with you. Amen. If you... Uh, <laughs> what I've done, I think, I, think we, I think we do this sometimes. I, I know that times I think... Okay, let me back up. I'm sorry. Let me back up just a little bit. People that have experienced a trial in the last month. Let me see your hand. Try, if you've had a trial or tribulation in the last month, let me see your hand. Joanne in Kentucky, do you, have you had a trial and tribulation in the last month? Yep, she did. She says yes. All right. I've done this before. All right. I got it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to listen to Pastor David's message and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run at it. I'm going to run at that thing. All right, I'm going to wait out into that tribulation. Well, water's cold out here. <laughs> Ooh. It's stinky water, too. Whoa. Uh, just, oh, it's, uh, oh, nothing's happening. Oh, see, I, I, I better call the prayer team or something and grumble. And you get out in that river and you grumble and complain, nothing is going to happen. Listen, listen, this is, oh, this is so amazing. The barrier only responds to one thing, the presence of God. Your barrier, your barrier will only respond to one thing, the presence of God. God will make a way through the river, but you've got to bring him into the river with you. And I know that I've had to repent in my own life because a lot of times, Brad, I get out in the river and I just start complaining. Why? Why? This is so hard. It's just, wow. Oh, I don't want to be here. It's just, oh, it doesn't really work. God, are you up there? Did you go on vacation? Don't look at me in that tone of voice. You know you've been there. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Bring the presence of God with you. And this is the lesson that I'm, I'm personally learning this lesson. Now, in the challenges that I'm facing, I see it as an opportunity to see God bring glory. Amen. And I have to admit a couple things. Number one, I'm helpless. It's bigger than me. This is bigger than me. But I refuse to do anything but bring the presence of God into the river with me. Amen. And then as I worship Him in the middle of the trial and the tribulation, that's where God brings manna. That's where God brings deliverance. That's where God brings water. That's where God brings quail. 
That's where God provides for all of your needs. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I want, I want to say this again. Listen, real closely. Listen. Do not allow yourself to be robbed of what God's wanted to do by, by grumbling or complaining. or, or And I, 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 I guess I'm going to say this word because it just keeps coming up. It just keeps coming up in my spirit. And, and Please understand it. I said a little bit of a hard word. and I, I'm just going to say it. Cursing God. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, Pastor David, what do you mean? I mean something like this. A conversation that goes on like this. God, you never. You've never taken care of me. See, here I am again. Here I am. Same spot. Here I am. Well, it's, it's, I never get out of this. Never. Here, ah, again. Cursing God. Instead, in the middle of it, here's what I'm doing. Father, I'm helpless. I need you, God. I need you. This is bigger. This is bigger than me. This is bigger than any... I, I have no strength for this, but you do. And I know, I know you will meet the need. I know... And so I rejoice in you. I worship you. I humble myself before you. And I give you praise. You are a good God. Even in the midst of pain. Even in the midst of discomfort in my life. You are good. Father and I worship you and I give you praise. That's taking the ark into the river. And when you do that, the waters will part. Close your Bibles. Thank you, Lord. Is this making sense to anybody? Hang on. Just keep it running. Let it go. Is this making sense to anybody tonight? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. If you're watching on YouTube, I, I, want, I, want in, I want to encourage you to follow along with me. And those of you that are listening by way of the podcast, I want you to, to listen to this now. Every head bowed, every eye closed. I, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can close your eyes too because you can still hear me. <laughs> um, Pastor David, I, I need to repent. I need to ask the Lord to forgive me because I found myself complaining. I found myself cursing God. I found myself speaking against the Lord. I found myself allowing discouragement to rise over the top of me. And I've said words that I shouldn't have said. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Nobody looking around. But you need to be honest about this because this is your point of deliverance. If that's you, I want you to raise your hand tonight. If that's you, raise your hand. Thank you for your honesty. You've got to stop cursing God. He's going to make a way for you. God will make a way. But you have to take the ark into the presence. Watch it on YouTube, listening, wherever you're at. Let's pray this prayer. Father, forgive us. Forgive us for complaining. Forgive us for cursing you. Forgive us uh, for not trusting you. Lord, we purpose in our hearts and in our lives that we are going to take, we are going to take the ark, the ark of God. We are going to take the presence of God into that trial, into that tribulation. Because you led us there. You were the one that led us. Because you're going to bring a great deliverance in our life. And we believe, and we should say this with our mouth, I believe you're going to bring deliverance to me. We should say, let's say that. I believe you're going to bring deliverance for me. I believe you're going to bring water. I believe you're going to bring bread. I believe you're going to bring a job. I believe you're going to bring healing. I believe you're going to bring restoration. I believe you're going to bring it. That's what God wants to do. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Your love and your kindness, Holy Spirit. You gently convict us and encourage us. And we give you praise for it right now. In Jesus' name. And everybody said? Amen. 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 Amen.